Well, hey guys, I just got some brand new fragrances in and it's time to do some first impressions slash reviews. So I am super excited to get with it. Spring is in the air. I've said that in a few other videos, but the flowers are blooming, right? The sun is out, it's starting to get warm out and you just see all the beautiful flowers. And one of the things that you see this time of year is the cherry blossoms. They like to bloom around April, sometime early April. They are so beautiful, especially if you ever get to see them in Washington, D.C. They're absolutely gorgeous. And so when I think of cherry blossoms, I think of cherries, of course. And so today I'm really excited to be talking to you about Authenticity Perfumes, one of the most amazing fragrance houses. Now, a lot of you, if you're brand new to the channel, first of all, welcome. My name is Scott. This is the fragrance channel, Scott Aromatico. And I'm so glad you took time out of your busy schedule to join me. As I was saying, we're going to be talking about Authenticity Perfumes. And you might be scratching your head if you're brand new to the fragrance community and you're wondering, what is Authenticity Perfumes? Well, guys, if you're used to shopping at the rack stores or the discounters or even the mall, you're not going to find this company. As you dive down the rabbit hole that is fragrances, you're going to discover niche fragrance houses, independent fragrance houses, or as we call them, indie fragrance house. And that's exactly what we have. We have an indie niche fragrance house, and we're going to be talking about two fragrances in particular from Authenticity Perfumes. And one of the reasons I was mentioning the flowers in bloom and the cherry blossoms in particular, because today we're going to be talking about none other than Cherryland. And this one right here, which is called Clean Musk. And clean, musky fragrances are perfect when the sun starts to get high, starts to get warm outside in the spring, and you want to smell fresh and clean, so you're in for a real treat. It started out as a discovery kit. I learned about these fragrances from Ross over at TLTG Reviews a very good reviewer and he was the one really talking and promoting about this house so I knew I had to give him a try and I ordered a discovery kit and man I was thoroughly impressed with what I smell but one fragrance in particular really got me and probably a lot of you own it and like I said if you're new to the channel you don't know about it but this is one that's really worth getting your nose on this one is called barbershop it's a foamy rich shaving cream type of smell it's very aromatic it's very beautiful absolutely gorgeous i love having this in my collection so so good and then as i've gotten deeper down the rabbit hole you know you start to smell a little bit more fragrances and i was really intrigued by this one right here this one by authenticity is called tobacco boss this is a very unusual fragrance and that's very important it's very key because one of the things that you're looking for is to stand out to separate yourself from all the others and this house will really do it and this fragrance right here really took me on that journey because this is a tobacco fragrance with kind of like a pancake twist. It's so good. You'd have to test it out for yourself, but it's just a really neat fragrance to wear in the fall and winter. Definitely invokes that time of year. So now I'm very happy, like I said, to be bringing you both of these fragrances. And I think we'll start off with Cherryland and get going with that. And the reason why is because if you have watched my channel before, you know I love cherry fragrances. I actually did a video featuring nothing but cherry fragrances sometime last year in the winter time and I did a cherry video and I absolutely love the note of cherry because I love gourmand fragrances and then shortly after I did that video Aaron Terrence Hughes released a fragrance called raw cherry that I wish I would have known about and I could have included in the video so I love cherry fragrances so I'm super excited to get my nose on that sorry for the long chatter and the lengthy buildup let's go ahead and spray it and dive right in and I'll give you my impression I'll spray the fragrance on my wrist, smell it on skin, and then I'll give you my impressions, and then we'll note break down. Really don't need more than two sprays with Authenticity perfumes because their fragrances are 50% oil concentrate, and so these are going to go beast mode. I shouldn't have to say that. It goes without saying these fragrances last all day. You're going to get 10 to 12 hours on your skin easily with any of the fragrances from this house. But as I talk right away, I can smell the fragrance permeating my nose. It's filling the air, so let's go ahead and tell you what I smell. Okay, so this is not what I thought at all. So when I was first going into this, I'm thinking gourmand. I'm thinking something sweet. I'm thinking cherry pie. I'm thinking lost cherry by Tom Ford. I'm thinking about Guerlain Lome EDL with that nutty, sweet cherry fragrance. Nope, not at all in this one. This is something different. Wow, it is aromatic, I will say that. Okay, the cherry that I'm smelling right off the right out of the gate with this one is not like a cherry, like a real cherry fruit. I'm smelling something almost like like cherry candy, almost like like a cherry jolly rancher is what I'm getting with this one. 
A cherry and strawberry Jolly Rancher is kind of the vibe I'm getting. Kind of like what Hermes was doing with H24. I get a little bit of that kind of burnt water, burnt iron kind of smell in this one. I don't know what that is, but there's definitely something kind of metallic to my nose that's a little different. Um, makes this, you know, not so much gourmand to me, although I do, I do detect that cherry-like and strawberry-like candy smell. There's a little bit of citrus in there. I'm definitely getting the citrus as well. Also, what, the more I smell this fragrance, I'm also picking up that same DNA that you would find in the barbershop fragrance as well. Authenticity definitely has, you know, characteristics of their own. You can kind of, you know, when a musician plays a song and you hear another song by them, you hear their DNA all through their, their songs and their music. I'm definitely smelling that authenticity DNA in this fragrance. It's very strong. It projects at about an arm's length. You're definitely going to get noticed when you walk in a room. People are going to smell this on you. To me, the vibe I'm getting is this is a fun, flirty vibe, kind of like date night. I feel like this is a fragrance to be more, more to be worn. Like early spring when it's cool outside, fall and winter definitely is when this fragrance would work really well. Now, guys, this is a 60 ml I have here. For a 60 ml, you're going to pay about $39.99. And like I said, these are 50% oil concentrates, so you're, these are going to go all day. The full bottle presentation on the screen real quick, and I'll tell you the notes. In the top, you've got cherry and strawberry, lemon, banana, and grapes. In the heart, you've got ylang ylang, salty sea air, and in the base, you have cotton candy and vanilla. All right, well, that is definitely interesting because... I do not smell the banana or the grapes at all in this one. I definitely am not detecting that. And I feel like I would, I would smell that strong, especially with the banana and the ylang ylang, but my nose is not picking that up. Now, as soon as they mention the salt sea air, I definitely am getting something kind of ozonic and salty at the same time. And I'm wondering, I'm just wondering where that warm, that warmth almost kind of metallic burnt smell is coming from. I don't know if that's the sea salt air or not coming through. And in the base, there's cotton candy and vanilla. And I'm definitely not picking up either one of those, but for sure, I'm getting that sweet-like Jolly Rancher smell of strawberry and cherry. And I actually like that. First spray this, I wore it on my wrist. And I will say, they do go beast mode. This fragrance definitely goes beast mode. It is definitely different. I do not think this is blind buy worthy. I definitely think you should pick up a sample and I will say that as this fragrance settles down, that, that kind of sea salt air or metallic smell, whatever that is I am picking up, kind of goes away. You're left with a beautiful, nice, fruity sweetness. So in the dry down is where it's at for me. I definitely think this is a fun, flirty fragrance uh, meant to be worn in the winter. And it's definitely unusual. So this is not your typical cherry gourmand fragrance. So if you like fragrances that are not, that are a little unusual, and I said that at the beginning of the video, you know, their fragrances definitely stand out, especially with Tobacco Boss, with that pancake and tobacco vibe that you're getting. This one is the same. You're getting that cherry scent, but you're also picking up something very unusual that's going to help you stand out. So definitely give it a try. You know, get a sample first or find a decant somewhere and uh, definitely test it before you buy it. Because if you're expecting like this, you know, warm cherry pie smell, you're definitely not going to get that from this fragrance. You're definitely going to get more like you know, a cherry slushy or more like a cherry candy scent. So that's what this one is all about. Let's go into the clean musk scent. That's this one right here. And we'll go ahead and spray it on my wrist. Like I said, you don't need that many sprays of this fragrance because I, they are 50% oil concentration and they do go beast mode. Wow. Okay. This one is really good. I like this one a lot. This one is very, you know, for lack of being original, this one is definitely clean. You're definitely going to get that soapy, clean, fresh vibe that you want. Especially you want that out of the fragrance when you've been in the sun, you're sweating, you know, you just want to feel clean. This one's definitely going to do it. This one is nice. And I can tell this right out of the gate. I said the first one with Cherryland is fun, flirty, kind of a date night vibe. This fragrance right here is more versatile. You can wear this all year round and you can wear it for any occasion, a wedding, work, a date. This one is going to work for anything because it's very, very, I hate to say mass appealing, 
but it is. It's mass appealing, and no one's going to get offended by this fragrance. It's really, really good, really versatile. I can tell you in the dry down, it gets a little bit earthy and a little bit masculine. I don't know if that's the sandalwood, but it definitely goes in the masculine direction. I hate saying that, you know, because fragrances don't know gender, but you know what I mean when I say that. It definitely does lean a little bit more masculine, like something a man would wear in the dry down. And another thing too is this fragrance is not is not in your face as say Cherryland. I feel like Cherryland is a little bit more in your face. This one is definitely more subtle. So you're going to get by with it more wearing it, but, you're, but people are going to notice you. When I say subtle, I don't mean it's a skin scent, but it's just not as in your face. You're not like entering the room, turning heads. This is the quiet one, you know. This is the loud one screaming, waving the hands. This is the quiet, confident, strong one in the room. So this is the partier. This is the quiet, strong one. But man, this is so good, so clean. What are the notes in here? Let's put a full bottle presentation on the screen. Okay, so pretty simple note breakdown. I'm not sure this is all the notes. You've got white musk, definitely is smelling that sandalwood because it's because it's earthy. You've got lime, definitely picked up the lime and bergamot. And as I smell that, I definitely, definitely detect the lime. But something else I'm also detecting in here is something floral. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I don't know if it's a synthetic floral note, but I'm definitely picking up a white floral uh, vibe. But whatever the case may be, this one is very fresh, very clean, very soapy. Um, you're definitely going to love this fragrance. And uh, you're, you're going to stand out in a crowd, but you're not going to be screaming at the top of your lungs. You're going to get noticed. You're going to get compliments with this one. And this is a 60 ml for $39.99, if I haven't said already. So, guys, there you have it. Those are my impressions. I think my favorite of the two is this one right here. This one's just okay. I don't hate it. I don't love it. But I will say this. One thing about fragrances with me, a fragrance that I hate, I can end up uh, loving later on. And a fragrance that I love, I can end up getting sick of and hating. So these can change me with more wearings, more testings. And uh, these are only my opinions. Don't take my word for it. Always get your own sample. But I would definitely say not blind buy worthy. And I would say this one is blind buy worthy. But again, do your own homework, test them out, and see what you think. If you're so sick and tired of mainstream fragrances, definitely check these fragrances out. They're, it's called Authenticity Perfumes. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And I think he's even running an extra 10% off all the fragrances. So check it out, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I love each and every one of you. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you're finding happiness and peace. Love you all. Peace, love, ciao.